Hey everyone, so I'm in my garage right now, as you can tell, and I'm gonna build a twin headboard for a dorm room. They're normally very overpriced, and I kinda thought, why not just build it myself? Right now I'm building a friend's, cause I already built mine, but I wanted to get better footage, uh, just doing it all together, and so I'm gonna show you what you need right now. Um, you have to go to three different stores. You have to go to Home Depot, Joann's, Joann Fabrics, and Walmart. So you have to go to all three of those stores to get all these things, but normally they're decently close together. Um, it's a really easy project, takes like 30 minutes, so let me show you what you need. You're gonna need some spray adhesive, a staple gun, staple scissors, and then you're gonna need some cotton, and you'll see a little more what this looks like after. Both of these things are from Joann's. Here's the fabric that I'm using, it's like a faux leather. Um, an egg carton mattress topper, and this is from Walmart, and then the wood is from Home Depot. Okay, for right now you're gonna wanna unfold your foam carefully rip the sticker off the back. I did rip my foam last time, so just very carefully rip it off. Got it? And then you're gonna cut it in half. I'll show you which way right now. Okay, if you have it long ways like this, this is just a twin extra long egg carton. Cut it right down the middle, you're gonna use both pieces. Right here, you're gonna take your wood, which is 40 inches by 32 inches, and your foam. I'm gonna take the spray adhesive and spray this down on the wood. Now what I'm doing here is I'm putting the flat side of the foam down first. And there's my puppy. Okay, so I have the foam down. You can see the wood's a little longer. Not really a big deal. It's not gonna show because I'm gonna make sure this foam covers that side more. Um, we're gonna do the same thing, except now we're gonna take the other piece and lay the textured sides together so now it's flat on the top. Okay, so now we moved back into the garage. Um, we're pretty much done with all the spray glue work now and the foam. So we're gonna take the cotton and we're gonna wrap it in it now and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so I have my foam. Um, well, the foam's on here and the cotton is right here. This is already, this is doubled up and it's four, uh, four feet you're gonna ask them for and same thing for the fabric. It already comes doubled up, so it's gonna be thicker and we're gonna do this right now. So, I'm gonna take this and drape it over and then you're gonna flip it. So now we have the wood up and all we're gonna be doing now is folding the cotton over and stapling it. I'll show you how to do it. Here's how to load a staple gun. There's gonna be this little piece on the back. You're gonna push it down, pull it away from the gun, and pull it up, and here's where the staples go. And then you're gonna take your staples. It shows you which way to put them in. If the thingy's pointing that way, your staples point that way, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna, I gotta look. Put that in. Take the loader, put the loader in also, push it down, and then lock it into place. And you're ready to go. Getting more of an up close view. I don't have two people to help me, but I'm gonna show you. You're gonna take this, pull it really tight. I gotta use two hands for this, and you're gonna staple it. So let me show you that. So like I said, we're gonna fold this. You wanna, if there's any foam hanging over the edge, you just wanna make sure that's nice and tight. You're gonna wanna pull your cotton. Take your staple gun, stick it down close to the edge, and staple. That's it. You're gonna want, honestly, 10 to 15 on every side, and you're just gonna do a bunch of them. With the edges of the cotton, it doesn't matter as much, but you almost wanna do this. So pull it to one side, and then kind of lap it back over so it makes kind of like that shape. And then with the fabric, we'll be a lot more precise with it, but this part doesn't matter as much. As you can see, the back of it is all done and stapled together, and you can even staple on the foam. You just wanna press it down real hard, but that's what it looks like, and now we're gonna flip it back over. Here is what the front is looking like, a little more like a headboard. You can see there where the foam cuts off a little bit, but once the fabric's on, you won't even notice that. Um, we're gonna do the same thing what we did with the cotton, drape it over and flip it back over. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing as before. Flip this, 
like that, staple it all down, staple it at the edges, and you can deal with the excess later. Um, I'll show you how to do that, and then I'll show you how to do the corners, because those are tricky. So like I said, take it, pull it really nice and tight. Helps if you have two people, but you can do it on your own, and just staple it right near the edge, and you can do that the whole way down. You don't want too stretchy of a fabric. This is slightly stretchy, but nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do all the middle sections of each one and then do the corners of every single side last. Okay, time for the edges. So obviously you have that much left. You can cut some of it, but you don't have to. So what I'm gonna start doing is taking the edges, taking a little bit and folding, taking a little more, folding that, take a little more. I'm trying my best to show this one hand. And you can see the corners are gonna be this nice um, ruffle, I don't know. And you'll pull it a lot tighter and you won't even notice that. If you have any questions on this, just let me know. But it's kinda, of, I hope it's easy. But it'll just look like that. You just keep folding it to make like a bunch of little folds here. And then you'll just staple a bunch of staples all around this. As you can see, all stapled down. I leave this extra fabric because it creates a little cushion on the back so it doesn't bang against the wall. Um, but I'll show you the front. I'm gonna do this to all the other sides and then show you the reveal. Okay, the back of your board should look something like this. Um, you can see I just stapled all the corners down. It's up to you. You can cut this extra fabric here or staple it down um, or just leave it. I mean, I'm gonna staple along the edges here just to get everything nice and secure. The rest of the edges are pretty much good except this one. I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you the back. So here is the finished headboard. All that needs to be done is a little steaming on it uh, to get out that crease in the middle. That was just from the folding of the fabric. Um, but yeah, that's how it's supposed to look and it's super cushiony, let me show you. That's how thick it is and it's super cushiony for your head. Okay, so I am dripping sweat now. Let me see, you can see me. I'm dripping sweat from doing this, but it's, again, it's super easy to do. It just takes a lot of staples. I used about one and a half of the little rods, um, but everything is done. And again, depending on the fabric, this one was the faux leather, so she just has to steam it to get that one seam out. Um, but that's pretty much it. And as for the legs of the headboard, so if you do need to do legs, you would just get, I haven't done mine yet, but I can show those when I do, but I just want you to be able to get this part done. All you have to do for the legs, you get a piece of wood, like the ones that are like that big. You get a really long one, cut it in half, and you just nail those to the back of the board, and then you just zip tie them to your bed. Super easy process. You can have a parent help you if needed, especially with the nails, because that you would need nails, a hammer, or you can use screws and a screwdriver. Um, but again, I can show those later on. I just wanted to get the main headboard done. You can also quilt it. So if you wanted to quilt it, you would use nails, washers, and then some sort of little gem that you want to use and a hot glue gun. Nail the nails in with the washer around it so it creates a nice circle surface. You just want to measure out where you want to put all the quilts. And then you just hot glue and put the little gem in it and that's how you quilt it. I don't know if I'm going to quilt mine yet. Haven't decided yet, but that's how you make the headboard. Let me know if you have any questions and hopefully I'll make another video soon. Bye.